inspiring videos. This video is about inspiring how I move to another continent uh, to shape my life. Here is my intro. Welcome, I'm Artist Michael Avatar and today I will describe for you how I move to another continent and why I move to another continent. If you have never been here, please subscribe and if you like my videos it will appear to you. Now to the subject of today, inspire videos how I move to another continent. This was 2009. I had so much cramps in my born country. It was cold, and the humidity was very high, so I had to take a bath three times a day because I had cramps. So I, did, I needed to do some real changes. So in the spring, of 2009, I needed to go to a warm country. We checked around different countries, India, Thailand, America, Florida and so on. But a friend of mine uh, gave a house I can live in in Thailand for one month. So I came to Thailand uh, spring 2009 and of the three days my cramps, my pain in my body was gone and I stayed here for four weeks. I come back to my born country Sweden and after five days, this was late spring so it was quite warm in Sweden and my cramp and pain came back. So, under three months, over the summer in Sweden, I decided I need to leave the country and I need to stay in warm Thailand so I will don't have pain. So, I created this moment, momentum. I finished all my public speak, speaking assignment my will, my ex-wife, we did divorced. Uh, there is a lot of practical thing when you move to a different continent or a different country. So I decided in August 2009 I will test live in Thailand for three months. So I came here, I still have cramp. When I came, but under the three months, I tried to create a new life here in Thailand. I had a house to live in, but really, I didn't have the income to come here. I didn't have friends here. I had really nothing when I came to Thailand. I only have the passion of getting rid of my pain. So, of the three months, I went back to Sweden for a few weeks because I had assignments I had to finish. And then 9 December, I moved here permanently to Thailand. So, I had rent my first apartment. I got the car here in Thailand, I drive motorbike. So, all this stuff I have some money to invest with, but really, that was it. Then I needed to start a new life here, get friends, get uh, uh, routines. How, how is Thailand working compared to Sweden? In the beginning, it was a lot of problem with the visa. How can I stay here? How can I 
I have to leave the country every 90 days and it was a mess, really. And I didn't really have the money to go out and come back and, oh Jesus, uh, it wasn't easy. So, I found my wife and we got married and all the visa problem just disappeared. So now I stay here a whole year. I don't need to leave China. I don't need to go outside. Uh, I've been a few times outside to do some public speaking, but that that is this. I have been here permanently since 2009. So I end up in a different culture. How do I work? I come from a Protestant country, society, uh, and come to a Buddhist country. It's a big, big, big difference. I don't need to go into details, but it was quite... I have to change my thinking a lot to adjust to this society. I was very open in my thoughts, in my way of being. I think I fixed all my past, so I didn't ca carry uh, so much in my bag from my previous life. I was open here. Um, when you have cerebral palsy, <laughs> it's a different challenge. In my born country, the challenge is knowledge. Knowledge about what is cerebral palsy. How aware is people about cerebral palsy? <laughs> and so on. In the Buddhist country it's totally different. In the Buddhist country when I speak to monks, when I speak to people, they want to help me, they want to shake me, they want to heal me, <coughs> they want to touch me because I'm white, not because I have set up a policy, because the Thai people want to be white, um, and so on. We West night, we want to get brown, so it's very crazy, um, crazy thing, really. So, uh, the man told me that in their religion, I was a very, very bad people, person in my previous life. That's why, the, that's why I came in this form, to this life. So, some people, not every people, they are very, not afraid, but they take a step back from the way I'm living. I, I have been lucky, because I'm a painter, I create art. And in the beginning I couldn't speak so much Thai, I only speak English, and the, the communication with art is different. Because you really, there is no language for art. If I put 10 of my paintings, people can see I have experience with doing paintings. Uh, and it's a way of communicate with other Thai people, other Western people who come here. So this is really, it's really been a very, unusual uh, trip in my life to change my thinking, change the way I live. One of the biggest benefits of being here is that you have time. You have a lot of time. So the first two years I was here, I decided that I should not do anything. I should don't get involved in things that should only focus on focusing on what do I do, what do I really want to do with my life, what do I really have passion for, for in my life, what's inspiring me, what gets me happy, what, whatever. But it didn't take me two years, it took me five years before I really find the path the new path in my life that I want to take. All these videos 
please comment if you like them, uh, make a thumbs up, thumbs down, up to you what you think about this video, but please comment about it. And that's one way in my path to do this video blogging, and I do it in, not in my native language, uh, who is Swedish, I do it in English, and I really like doing videos, I want to give a message, I really want to have some questions, I want to interact with the people on YouTube or other media, so I can get questions to answer in your world about moving to another continent, living with a disability, about coaching, about motivating people, about whatever in this kind of subject. That's why I do these videos. So this was a short story about how I decided to move to a different continent, different country, and why I did it. I hope you enjoyed this story. Have a very nice day. I will put a new video up very soon. Take care. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Click on the videos. Have a nice day.